Welcome back to the Shell Time Channel, folks, where the community of Santiago comes to life through tips, tricks, practical advice, and so much more. See how that kind of rhymed there? Getting better. Today, we're diving into the heart of every pilgrim's journey. That's right. Right through the chest. Hey! As bad as that sounds when put that way, and it does sound bad, there's some truth to it. We'll be talking about the backpack, but not just the backpack. We're talking about turning your backpack of choice into a custom tailored treasure ah. chest of efficiency and comfort through these packs that I've come up with along the way. Of course, this is just the beginning in a series of many backpack <laughs> modification episodes I'll be doing, only because I'm really trying to... No, I'm not trying to catch a fish. I'm really trying to... Um, Roll back the time that I'm putting into these. No, is that, that doesn't even sound right. I'm really trying to um, give you more in less time. I've had some complaints. Mostly from people I know. But my videos seem to be too long, so I'm going to be giving you just little bite-sized nuggets of awesome. All this and more when it comes to nuggets when we return. Booyah! And welcome back. Are you ready for some fast-paced revolutionary tips? I know I am. I'm always ready for tips. I'm here for the tips. And I'm here for the tortilla, if you couldn't tell. Let's look at my backpack. My backpack is a thing of beauty. It is. This is many years in the making. And some of you might be like, dude, especially you ultralight packers out there like, dude, to cut some of that stuff off. It's like, no, no, no. I don't cut stuff off. I add stuff to it. Granted, there are th some things I have cut off, but only to revamp and use for something else, like strapping. If I was to ever to cut off this excess strapping, I'd be using this in some other way. Get the most out of your gear. So we won't be looking at anything on the front end here, and some of this stuff, it does need to be cut off. It's a little, I don't even know what's going on here anymore. This is like, like Mardi Gras. I, I'm almost embarrassed to show you that. But what we will be looking at today is what's going on in the back here. You will see all types, again, this is, a real, truly a treasure trove of, of awe and possibly confusion on your part and sometimes on my part too. But today what we're going to be going over is the chest straps. Now every good backpack obviously comes with chest straps. Well, maybe it's not so obvious. Maybe I use the word obvious way too much, literally. Oh, that's another word the children of today use way too much. Obviously and literally. Obviously and literally, but I digress. Anyways, chest straps, and obviously, do they can, I'd never use this word, is the hip belt. I have hacks for both of those elements because you want your pack to be comfortable at the end of the day. Sometimes when people go ultra light, they sac start sacrificing, it's, you know, just, it's a, the law of diminishing returns. You start sacrificing comfort. And I think it's so much more, when you're gonna be on the trail all day for over a month, you need to have to come to a bag. So if it's gonna be a couple more ounces than what you, you know, the ultra light is offering, go for it. And, if it, and maybe you do pick up the ultralight, but there are ways to tweak it to make it more comfortable for you. Uh, much like in our shoe episode where I talked about a gin and tonic, where people will go with the expensive gin, but always go cheap on the tonic, thus killing a most epic potential drink. It's the same thing with backpacks. I think a lot of the times the last thing that most designers when it comes to backpacks think about is, not, not all of them, and you know, the, their hearts are in the right places, but I just think the designs could use some tweaking. So most backpacks will come with their own built-in chest strap. It goes across the chest and it keeps the shoulder straps in, snug and in place and comfortable on you. They don't start sliding off of you. It's really, and it makes a difference when you're hiking. I should mention this as well. During the course of the day, you're gonna be constantly adjusting your backpack and it could be the straps you're adjusting or the hips. It'll often shift where the adjustments are. It's like anything else, it's very moody, your backpack. It's made out of, you know, material and it's sweat's gonna affect it. Lots of things are gonna, the elements are going to affect it too. So it's, it's going to need some constant tweaking, if you will, especially the hip as you lose weight and as you start sweating, the, the waist belt as well is going to need some tweaking. But the chest straps, so they're often built in on these tracks right here. There's a, a clip on the outside of the chest clip. And if you have a backpack next to you or near you, you'll see it, it slides up and down. And that's pretty cool. It's adjustable. You can raise and lower the height of your chest strap. The thing is, there's nothing really holding that in there except a little like cuff clipping onto this. And with just enough pressure, it can come off. And once that comes off for the first time, and this is, you know, if, you're, if you check your backpack and you clip that before you, you know, you want to keep everything snug and tight if you're checking it, 
Oftentimes, by the time you get it back at the airport, the clip's off. It's been either ripped off entirely or it's hanging off. That cuff's been pulled out and the clip, you you have to try to almost thread the needle at the bottom, getting that thing back on. At the base, if you know, if that ever happens to you, at the base, there is no like inner plastic liner that that cuff, it's almost like a zipper. So you can get it on the base of this track. Let's call it a track. You can get it on the base of this track before it gets wide and slide it up. But from that point on, it's now been compromised. The structural integrity of that cuff, it'll come off more and more during your trip. And it's a pain in the butt. It's always when you don't want it to. So you're constantly, as you're walking, trying to thread it back on there. And aside from that, though it does slide up and down, giving you more control. Back in the day, these things were stitched in one place. You didn't have that option of sliding up and down. However, when they were stitched in place, they also didn't come off. So again, there's trade-offs with adjustability. It still doesn't really feel it's in the right place for me. For me, I like to wear mine a little bit lower. You'll see some people wearing all the way up here. I like to have the, the shoulder straps. I'll show you actually. I like to have my straps right about here, my chest straps. Another thing, you know, further proof that the design it's always, you know, it's almost like the last thing they thought about is the little whistle part they had on. This one was aftermarket, so it actually works, but some of them are just a joke. If anyone was attacking you, I don't know what you, maybe call some stray dogs. Like this one. <sighs> okay, maybe it does work. So my point is, I feel like they miss the mark sometimes on that. And what I've done is just Again, a kind of workaround. I've taken off the factory chest strap. I've bought some aftermarket ones. And these are actually, this This is actually from, uh, they're really high quality. They're, they're very durable. Uh, they're stitched in. There's nothing cheap about these. These are from um, the company, now nah, I'm, I'm probably gonna butcher the name. Fjall, Fjallraven? Fjallraven, outdoor company. Been around since the 60s, awesome stuff. But I've bought the these and probably wondering how all this works. Let me show you. Okay, sorry, had to take them off the backpack. But this is what we're looking at, folks. This is my own little hack. This way, you can have your chest straps more where you want them. Because again, we're all built differently. So this gives you more play with them and they're not gonna come off. And if you ship your bag, they're not gonna get ripped off either. Just don't have them on there. But these are just double snaps. I guess I'll show you what I bought. You can buy aftermarket chest straps. Real cheap in different places. That whistles a little bit better. This is some off-brand, probably from Amazon. Not as high quality as a Fjall Raven. I think I'm pronouncing that correctly. I'm probably not. Correct me below in the comments. Build quality's a lot better here, but anything will do. In fact, much like I often recommend bringing an extra pair of shoelaces, I also recommend bringing an extra chest strap like this. Here's another one. This is actually from an old backpack. And there's the cuff right there that I'm talking about. That once that's once that's been pulled off, it's just it's not the same. And here's another one. And this is typically how you find the aftermarket ones, how they're set up. This is a little bit better quality. It's got a nice little like belt loop on here. And it's got these little clips right here. And what you would do is thread this into the strap, the lower strap on your backpack. So that's how they go on. And in a pinch, like if your pack chest strap breaks, that's why I say keep an extra pair on you like this, a spare while you're hiking. This is a quick fix and it'll get you through the rest of your hike. But what I say is do some surgery when you get back to the hostel or the albergue, and that would look much more like this. So once I picked up the ch extra chest strap to get back on track, I then picked up, see these? These are metal oval carabiners. They're industrial, so they're stronger. The original ones I used were regular run of the mill, probably aluminum carabiners. While strong, they just had a weird shape to them. So this, it made these sit weird on me. So the oval ones keep them perfectly straight across my chest. No, there's no bending or anything like that. Real cheap on Amazon. I'll have a link below for those. The last piece of the puzzle are these, but they're called nylon belt keepers. And they just have dual snaps, just like this. And therefore, for a belt. They're tactical nylon belt keepers. 
I'll have a link below for them as well. And that's it, folks. Once the once this is built, take the strap, the chest strap off your bag that comes with it, put this on instead, and you're good to go. It's just it's it's like night and day once you get this little piece of the puzzle figured out. Trust me. Trust, 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 trust. If you enjoyed this tip, trick, and hack, please, please, please like this video. It really helps get it in front of more eyes. Also, please subscribe to the channel. You can do that right there. Do it right here. Yeah, just click that. Don't click that. Don't click that. Scan that with the camera you're probably holding in your hand. Come on, I'll leave it up there for a little bit. In fact, I'm going to pull back a little. I think I was puncturing it. Please subscribe to the channel. And please comment below if you have some of your own hacks. Or maybe like me, you want to sprinkle them across different episodes. Sprinkle maybe some of your, maybe one of your hacks in the comments below. And just like that, we've reached the end of our journey today when it comes to customizing your pack to fit your own unique shape. With these hacks and DIY modifications, you're not just prepared, you're setting the stage for a more enjoyable, personalized pilgrimage. <laughs> Talk about alliteration. Remember, the Camino is more than just a path you walk. It's an experience shaped by every step you take and every choice you make. And every move you make. I've been watching you. Hit that, actually, I don't know if I've said this before. Hit that bell for notifications and more Camino wisdom and wanderlust. That sounds so pretentious. Until next time, folks, may your backpack be epic and your soul be filled with light. Just ad libbing right now, folks. Ad libbing like nobody's business. One Camino.